Welcome back to RealVacantLand.com. This is Luke Smith, and I've got a property for you. This one is for Angela Zappa. Angela just posted a comment. Let me throw this uh, on the screen. She just posted a comment. She says she's answering one of the questions I had in the live call. Every Monday morning, I do a live call. We talk about land. We do land deals. We give away land. We give away mailers. We give stuff away. Recently, I've been giving away mailers. I give away a bunch of land in the past. And so she's answering one of the questions I had in the call. It was a quote about doing something scary every day by Eleanor Roosevelt. You should do one thing scary every day is what she says. And I said, you know, what's the one thing scary that you would do today that that's, uh, that's like on your hit list? So Angela answered the question. She says, walking up to the most imit imit intimidating stranger I might encounter in public and introduce myself, then ask how I might be able to make their day better. <laughs> that was a pretty cool response. Um, so Angela is asking in a couple different comments there about land in Cochise County. So here's some land in Cochise County. I'm going to the website, ruralvacantland.com. This is where it's all, all this land's listed and it's all information about land. And I, I put a list together. I sorted it for, you know, the, the cheapest to most expensive properties we got in Cochise County, Arizona. So the cheapest one that's coming up right now on ruralvacantland.com is owned by Andy Barnhart. Andy's got this one on the website. It's uh, 495 bucks. It's a quarter of an acre, 0.23 acres, about a quarter of an acre. But 495 bucks is for a piece of property. It's a piece of land. You get the deed and everything, 495 bucks. So let's take a look at this. I got a map on here. We got an interactive map. Let's blow that up. Looks like there might be a little two track running through the middle of the property. There's a little one off to the side and uh, some bushes and stuff. I mean, it's not fancy land or anything, but it's $495. And we've got uh, Sun Circle or something down below, kind of neighborhood put together. A couple homesteads happening in the area. A couple people have bought lots in this area, and they're going for it. Looks like a bigger road just over here, a little bit further south. We've got something. I think this is Douglas. Let's put open up a map. Uh, yeah, Douglas. So Douglas is in the south, south center part of Cochise County. We'll zoom out a little bit more. There's a Walmart and Douglas and grocery stores and you can buy tires and you know car parts and that kind of stuff. So you got supplies right there. If you want to go for like lumber and home building supplies and that kind of thing, you're probably going over here to Sierra Vista. There's a Home Depot. There might be a, I think there's a lumber store in Douglas, but it's not like full on, you know, countertops to roof shingles and everything in between supplies it's got some parts you know like uh if your toilet's running you get a new new flapper or something like those kinds of supplies but not not everything so but not very far up the road you got all the rest of the supplies i'm gonna stop talking <laughs> you know what i mean so south of the border you've got uh pharmacies and um taco shops and you know get get your car repaired and all kinds of services for a lot cheaper than north of the border Further north, you've got Tucson, just a major airport, fly in and out. A little bit further north yet, you've got uh, Phoenix with all kinds of supplies. So you could drive to Phoenix and back in a day, you're within range. Um, and this property is 495 bucks. So the nice thing I like about Cochise County, and that's why um, why people keep asking about Cochise County, and Angela Zappa is asking about Co Cochise County, is because the codes make it really easy to build. There's owner builder kinds of rules and regulations that open up Cochise County and make it really easy to do do stuff on your own with low fees and they're getting a lot more of it online and just make it really easy to go build your own place like $25 fee to move in with an RV kinds of stuff right um, so I pulled up Cochise County on Zillow and Zillow is not the end all be all of of prices because we're just looking at one on my website for 495 bucks i'm sure there's some other websites out there that have other properties but for what zillow has on here i mean it's free to list stuff on zillow anybody can list stuff on zillow you don't have to be a realtor to put it on there so you get all kinds of random stuff on here so you can't always look at it straight face you gotta use your mind still and they've got uh for dollar these are auctions um thousand bucks thousand bucks is the cheapest property on zillow um it looks like it's about the same area too look at that see it's popping up i think it's this one right here yeah that's close to the same area 0 0.31 acres thousand dollars what zillow is asking for the same kind of property and you probably gotta let's see um so you probably gotta deal with a realtor on this one so they always hide it down at the bottom. 
No, oh, maybe not. Might be a land dealer. So maybe you don't have to pay a realtor for it. But they're getting them on Zillow for a thousand bucks on ruralvacantland.com. They're uh, 495 bucks. It looks like it's the same area. Um, to take the deal, down at the bottom of this video, there's a link to go to back to ruralvacantland.com if you're watching this video somewhere else. There's a buy it now button. This will take you to um, Andy. And Andy's got his checkout here. The money goes to Andy's accounts, not mine. It goes to Andy. I'm not the owner of this property. I'm just pointing it out. And uh, it's for sale by owner. Andy's doing okay. He's charging a fifty dollar dock fee. So four ninety five plus fifty. You can do the math. Put your title information in there. Your information, your basic information. Hit next. And you got the property. And Andy will go get the thing recorded into your name for you. Um, Andy's name and number for service and questions and everything's on the page. Andy Barnhart usually answers the phone really well. Great guy to do business with. Um, comes highly recommended. And he's got the cheapest land in Cochise County. Okay, so there's the property. Um, half the price of what's on Zillow. <laughs> and there you go. So thank you. Thanks, everybody, for listening, for watching. We're looking at these properties. This one's $495, Cochise County, Arizona. Go take a look at it. There's others. There's 20 or 30 other properties for sale in Cochise County on realvacantland.com by a couple different guys that got them up for sale. And then most all of them are the cheapest in the area, cheapest around, cheapest cheapest one so cherry pick the best one for you have fun go take a look luke smith realvacantland.com hit subscribe if you want to see more videos like this about other properties talk to you later bye